Now court is passed and fleet, number 32 feet in west. Last Friday, the McHenry Warrior football team played their last football game of the year. Friday night included many emotions as they watched our seniors close out their final season on the field. Coach Joel Beard gets sentimental, thinking about his seniors' exit from the team and how much they've grown. It's a good group of, of student-athletes that I like being around. Um, they, they work hard, they take it very seriously, and um, you know, I'd like to have more time with them. Unfortunately, I can't, but um, yeah, so I mean, it, it's, I'm not ready for it to end, you know, but it has to. We went through a lot in the first part of the season, you know, um, playing some tough teams and, and all that. But then to see them, see our team respond the second half of the season, um, we've won three out of the last four games, you know, um, and we continue to compete. So I, I think that's probably one of the biggest things that I'll hold on to is just how resilient the group has been. The McHenry football team has been through some tough games this year, but it didn't stop our players from making memories. Senior Zach Manis talks about one of his team's biggest moments this season. Probably getting the first win. I mean, it was, we definitely needed it. We started out the year 0-4, so I mean, that kind of got us going. So that was probably the biggest moment. No matter how big the loss or the win, it's all about being a team. Senior Caleb Bresmer uses one word to describe his team and their season. We, I would say fight because even though we've lost five games right now, all of them are really close, and we, we always fight through it because I feel like our senior class, they're all fighters. We've been playing with each other for a really long time, and we know how to fight in a football game. Even though we're not the biggest guys, we still fight and keep it in a close game, so they're all, all the games have been really good. Thanks to our marching band, cheer team, lively student section, and many more for keeping the school spirit alive. We hope to see everyone back in the stands next year. Reporting for the Warrior Weekly were Maddie Spencer, Allie Casey, and Matthew Woods.